Hello my fellow gamers and welcome to Blood Bowl 2 where I've somehow got myself caught up in a Black Iron's newest league where there's going to be I think it's like 32 of us battling it out. In this episode I'm just going to cover my team, what I've picked and why and of course reveal the names of the team members because I did have a video at this today asking for people for suggestions. Of course I'm always open for more suggestions because Skaven die really easily so Keep sending in those comments, guys. Any suggestions, I will put into the team as long as it's, I follows the rules of the league, which is pretty much nothing offensive or, you know, use common sense, pretty much. Don't do something stupid. But, yeah. So, we've got the Shadows Rangers, a scaven team, that are in the Gork League. So, we'll have a look here. So, our motto is, if you can't win, can't win if you can't play. Which, yeah, I'm a very aggressive player with these guys. Um, we'll do a lot of fouling and fancy things like that so the team roster first of all we have our two storm vermin um, Scar Bloodtail was a recommended name I also came up with Stabby McStabby because it makes sense we also have a thrower who I took the name Headshot again I did have a, sec a name for a second thrower that would be then used when I hire a second thrower so I went with Headshot for the first one we then have our lineman we've got no more kicking First, I don't know if that was actually meant to be a name, but I'm using it. Itchy. Then we've got our two gutter runners, lefty and righty. But I've got to remember that the lefty's got to always deploy on the right, and righty's always going to deploy on the left because of reasons. Also, a couple of names I came out with was Blind Pete, because if you look, he has no eyes. Laser Eye. Wannabe Queek. And Try Again Steve. And yeah, so an interesting build list. Because what a lot of people normally go for in a tournament is a Rat Ogre or a load of Gutter Runners. Well, I've got no Rat Ogre and I've only got a couple of Gutter Runners. Why is that? Well, the reason it is, is because I've got a lot more of this stuff. So, first thing I bought was an Alpha Carry. Now, for Skaven, this is huge. Because even a Lineman is worth 50k, but a Gutter Runner, 80k, you know, Thrower, 70, and a Storm Vermin, 90. So if I get an Alpha Carry straight off the bat, then even in the first game, if I, one of these guys die, but I use the Alpha Carry and save him, that's already made his money up in the first game. Um, and of course, each game that it helps in, money saved. Money saved, more players. That's how you got to see it. So I always go for an Alpha Carry. I then spend as much money as I could on Team Rewos. So I've got three Rewos to use, which is quite good number three or four I'm um, normally between three two to four reroads depending on the teams um, for starting so three is pretty good I also had 10k left I spent it on a fan factor now a lot of people would say don't bother in a league with fan factor you'll get it after your first match true but if everyone doesn't bother and you pit down one if any event comes up that requires or oh, whoever's got more fan factor I win automatically every time and I guarantee you a lot of those friends require fan factor and a lot of them would be worth the 10k spare I chucked in for that so that's why I go for this build this is my normal league build I believe it's the same build I had for the fiery bulls tournament I had way back if you remember like psych online gaming gobo king and gen on occasion and this team won it was because we had an extra player so even if they knock them out I've still got 12 players We've got the mobility of the gutter runners, but only a couple. We don't go over the top. A um, couple storm vermin, the main fighters. And, of course, a thrower to get the ball up within. We can keep our guys alive. We can keep doing reroads because we've got a lot of them. I mean, like a lot of the fan factor stuff, it's things like team rero. So, by spending that 10k, if nobody else bothers, there's a good chance that I could get another rero, which is worth 60k. Can you see how the money suddenly worth it? So yeah, I have spent every penny I've got. There's a thousand points, yeah. And yes, we don't know exactly 100% um, the setup just yet in regards to who I'm playing against because we're still waiting for the teams coming. Um, I believe it's maybe 16 teams a league, but as you can see here, we've only got 10, me included. But we are against Torrin. We have got the Gobbo King. We do have the Professor as well. I'm trying to think if there's any form else I know. But I know there's a few. Oh, Gorgia. 
is there as well. There's a, a lot of YouTubers in this one, which should be great fun. I mean, I'm slightly worried. Torrin, why is your team just a load of men in Speedos? We'll leave it at that. So, yeah, guys, there we go. That is the wrap-up for the moment. Of course, when I play my first battle, I'll go into detail about who I'm playing against, what their team is, and what they've got, and how I'm going to try and counter it. But, I mean, there's some of these. It's uh, got 3k left. So there's a plan for it. But, yeah, see a Rero, a Necromancer, which is free. Um, What's that one? If a player on the opposing team is driven for this, that doesn't have... Oh. Oh, that's a problem. But, yeah, as you can see, um, got a couple of Revos, but not much. Well, they don't have an ever carry option. Um, just looking, because there's some that's not, like, 800. But then again, these are goblins, so, yeah. But, yeah, see, he's just got three Revos as well. Oh, he hasn't got any money left. Oh, it must be just the value of the goblins. But, anyway, I'm going on a bit. So, yeah, guys, um, do obviously comment below... Um, other suggestions for Skaven names because like I said these linemen will probably die horribly quite quickly so any suggestions much appreciated and of course if you do like Blood Bowl and you want to keep up with all of this I'll be having an episode every week once it starts do hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time these guys are going to be in the game and we can see if we can get past this tournament I mean at my own tournament I didn't win a single game so I should win at least one I should win at least one. Famous last words. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me, and I hope to see you next time. Till then, take care.